Open world games come in a wide variety of shapes and forms, and every developer has their own ideologies about what makes games fun and engaging. One way in which open world games differ is not only in the size of their map, but how densely populated the map is, with things like locations, characters, and most importantly, fun things to do. While many games aim for a perfect balance where a map is engaging but strays away from oversaturation, other open world games have relatively sparse or heck, even empty maps for a wide myriad of reasons that we will discuss here. What's going on everyone, Jeffrey here, welcome to Game Rant. In this video, I'll be highlighting seven games that feature purposefully empty maps, so let's dive into the list. Number seven, Minecraft. Minecraft is an open world sandbox game, and its emptiness is the exact reason why people love it so much, and end up sinking countless and endless hours of time into it. The whole point of the game is for players to create their own worlds and games, which they can then share with their friends or even the world. The blank slate nature of the game opens up a world of creativity, and players will soon discover that they can never really get bored as there are just so many darn things to do in Minecraft. Of course, players can eventually turn their originally empty world into a sprawling fantasy metropolis, as almost anything is possible in this game. Number 6, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Kingdom Come Deliverance is one of the most immersive historical games of all time. Set in a small region of war-torn Bohemia, as seen in 1403, it is a gritty down-to-earth medieval masterpiece. Given the game's rural setting, it is only natural that the game's map is fairly sparsely populated outside of the small towns. This is by no means a detriment to the game, as players are better able to enjoy the rolling hills and vibrant verdant fields of springtime Bohemia. Furthermore, when characters or events are waiting in store, they feel more like a pleasant surprise rather than simply ticking off markers on a map. Number 5, The Forest. Vast expanses of emptiness can most certainly be terrifying in certain contexts, and this is most definitely true for the first-person survival horror game, The Forest. Either alone or with friends, players are the lone survivors of a plane crash and must find food, shelter, and weapons for themselves on an island infested with cannibals. Other than a massive sinkhole in the middle of the island and various cannibal settlements scattered around, most of the map is pretty empty, giving players a choice for where they build their own base. Despite the map being mostly empty, every step players take in the forest is downright terrifying, as it is undoubtedly one of the best horror games of recent years. Number 4, Medieval Dynasty. Medieval Dynasty is a survival game set in the Middle Ages, which quickly becomes a first-person town management game after players manage to make it past the early stages. As the game follows and allows and encourages players to make settlements of their own, it is only fitting that the map is fairly empty with plenty of great locations to build their own villages. There are other settlements with NPCs who sell important goods or who can actually be recruited, but otherwise the map scene is pretty much just an open, rural, and sometimes empty playground. Number 3, The Crew 2. Sometimes in both life and gaming, it is about the journey, not the destination, and that is exactly the case with The Crew 2. This open world motorsport game lets players compete online in races all across the USA, and as such has an incredibly large but fairly empty map that allows the focus to remain solely on racing. The behemoth of a map is significantly larger than rival games such as Forza, and features jaw-dropping environments that compete with the best graphical games of all time. Number 2, Valheim. One open world game that undoubtedly has a purposefully empty map is of course Valheim, a charming survival and exploration game inspired by Norse mythology. The map is procedurally generated and is made up of different biomes that get progressively harder the more you progress. Outside of randomly spawned dungeons and a small selection of bosses which players summon, the world is pretty much empty with the only remnants of abandoned villages scattered throughout. Instead, the map is there for players to make it their own with a fantastic and engrossing building system. And number one, Shadow of the Colossus. Shadow of the Colossus is an all-time PlayStation classic that was actually remade in 2018 for the PS4 and is widely considered to be an example of art in the video game industry. This incredibly dark yet beautiful open world game also happens to have a purposefully empty map that really went against the grain of the jam-packed open world hype of its time. In the barren and seemingly inhospitable Forbidden Land, players can instead focus on the colossi they must defeat to bring their love back. Armed with just a sword and a bow, the beauty of the game is really in its simplicity. And there we have it everyone, seven unique open world games that feature purposefully empty maps to explore to your heart's content. Thank you so much for watching this video from Game Rant. 
be sure to check out all sorts of other original top-notch gaming content, including more lists, news, reviews, guides, and so much more right here on Game Rant. Have a truly wonderful and happy day, everyone. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.